like I said before, the soap, Dr. Broner's, their product is so good in my hair. Like, I feel like it really cleans out everything. It really just kind of starts my hair over as a new, like, nothing was ever in it. Like, all the dirt and product that was in my hair is completely out now. Show them that you that bitch. You right. I am that bitch. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Jay Diggity, with the fliggity Schniggity, and I'm back with another mother freaking video. As you guys can see by the title below, I am going to be washing my hair today. I've actually been postponing washing my hair just for you guys, just so I can make sure I, you know, record and just show you guys what I do when I wash my hair. You guys seem very interested in my locks. I know, again, I get a lot of my um, subscribers from all of my lock videos. And, you know, I just want to stay consistent with you guys and just show you guys what I do. As I always say, everybody's hair is different. Everybody's lock journey is different. So just because I do certain things and use certain products for my hair, it doesn't 100% mean that it's going to work for your hair. But, you know, you can definitely, it's a give and take here. You know, you see what I use. Maybe you could try it out. If it works for you, that's great. If not, just try something else. But yeah, let's get into the video. So this morning I did go to the gym. Um, after I went to the gym, I went to one of my local, just like natural, holistic type of stores. Um, it's called Lori's. I got a couple of my oils. Um, this isn't usually the oil I usually use, but you know, it's 100% um, pure. It says skin softener, but it says multi-purpose. We should be good using this oil, using vitamin E oil. Again, this is stuff that I'm just using after. All right, we got the rose water. I usually use this brand. I usually use this brand for vitamin E oil. Um, I just found this brand. Usually what I do is use virgin olive oil f from like, extra virgin olive oil from like, um what is it like walmart but you know again i try i'm trying something different trying to use 100 percent just natural items uh i looked up what first cold pressed means i, I never really knew what cold press mean when like you know it comes to different items i guess that means they don't use heat when they like squeeze the oil out of the olives and that means uh they don't use any additional chemicals like they learn they're literally pressing the olives and the oil's coming out <sighs> i'm guessing that what that means that's what that means but you know before i wash my hair i usually like to you know mix all my oils in together and just get everything settled so i usually use like this little applicator Um, I don't measure at all so yeah this is just me going off of what I usually do um, the only reason why I like to do this type of stuff before I wash my hair is just to make sure I have everything set and just settled and ready um, usually when I do wash my hair though it's in the shower um, I don't like to go in the sink and do too much it's, it's just too much for me
Um, the reason why I use these things, again, I usually get all my lock advice from Yanni, the one and only lockologist, you know, just to make sure y'all get that correct. She's the one and only. <laughs> um, but yeah, she has a website. I'll definitely leave the link to that website in her channel below. But, um, you know, so far, all of this stuff has been working. I've been using, you know, this type of oil, all these oils and this little concoction. I use my aloe vera juice as well. I got all of this mainly from her. Been using it since I first started my lock journey. You know, so far it's been working. I love the, I love what's been going on. So just continuing to use it. Um, the soap I use. I usually use the Dr. Broner's. I usually use this. I'm. This is my first time using this. Uh, this kind of Dr. Broner's, like this orange bottle. What is this? So this is the tea tree. Um, I don't usually use the tea tree. I usually use the peppermint. I feel like the peppermint just sends tingles through the through the scalp. I don't know, but um, yeah. I am going to try something different first. I am going to wash my hair with this and then I'm gonna go through it a second time with this. And, you know, see how it works. This soap though, these two soaps are very, you know, they they strip your hair. Like this cleans out like all of the like gunk and things. It really works for my hair personally. You know, again, just speaking from what I know. Um, being that I don't really put that much in my hair, I don't really do that much to my hair. It's not like it's like a lot of build up or anything. But you know, just from the last time I washed it, which was about two months ago, probably, is it it's definitely time for for a washing. So that's what we're gonna do.
All right, so I am done washing my hair. Um, and again, like I said before, the soap, Dr. Broner's, their product is so good in my hair. Like, I feel like it really cleans out everything. It really just kind of starts my hair over as a new, like nothing was ever in it. Like all the dirt and product that was in my hair is completely out now. So, you know, my hair does definitely feel like way more lighter. My scalp just feels cleaner, like it could breathe. Everything is just great right now. All right, so my next step is just putting more of the healthy products back in my hair. Again, like I said before, Dr. Broner's, it literally strips your hair clean of everything. So you kind of have to make sure when you, after you wash your hair, you put in products that work best and you know, just stimulates the scalp. You don't want your hair to be too dry. You don't want your hair to be too moisturized. Again, just learn your hair, find out what works best for your hair and you know, put your products in that way. Always, always, always after I wash my hair, I put in my little rose water and vitamin E oil concoction. You guys see me mix that up earlier and you know, shake it up. Of course, make sure you spray it on your locks, but definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you spray it in your scalp as well. My hair, it is very, 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 very coarse. And my hair just, it takes in anything you put, put in it, honestly. So, you know, that's a reason why I make sure I use 100% natural items or the most natural items that I can find in certain situations that I'm in. And... If your hair is the kind of hair that, you know, you have to make sure you always oil, your hair gets dry a lot, you know, that's just something you are going to have to kind of try and work around when it's time for your wash day. Just make sure you wash it very thoroughly. That's really it. And after that, I'll just rub in that spray. Then I go in with the aloe vera juice, just very lightly. I just go in the scalp a little bit and on top of the locks. Usually just because I'm not the type of person to always spray stuff and oil my scalp all the time, I make sure I do all that I, all that I can after my washes. Cause on a day to day basis, I do not like, I don't spray this on my hair every day, every week, every two weeks. I really do it when it's needed. Like, if I feel like my hair is dry, I'll spray it. If I feel like my scalp is dry, it's getting too itchy, I'll oil my scalp. It's just, you know, as you guys already know if from my past videos, I don't really do much with my hair. Not really. Right. Now, this is the castor oil olive oil 100% virgin olive oil and vitamin E oil little mixture sometimes I do the hot oil treatment I'm not doing it today but sometimes like every other wash I definitely 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 do hot oil treatments so in my next wash I'll definitely make sure I include that
I always make sure I work on the scalp before I um before I touch the locks like even when I wash my hair I make sure I put the uh, shampoo on my actual scalp first rub it in there and then I focus on the locks clean the locks do all that type of good stuff reason why you always should try to focus on your scalp more than just the physical lock is because you know that's where the new growth is coming in at you don't want to just focus on the rest of the lock this is already locked you shouldn't be focusing on this focus on making sure your new hair is growing and healthy making sure that your new hair is clean making sure that your new hair is oiled correctly all that good stuff All right, now that the scalp is nice and oiled, I always drizzle some oil just on top of my locks, making sure that they're just still healthy, has their, you know, little nutrition, I don't know. <laughs> I just go over it very briefly like this, like a hold it over, do a little drizzle, and like I do a little go like that. well that is my wash day <laughs> I don't really do much as you guys already know as you guys see I just wash my hair make sure I strip everything all the dirt do all that good stuff S replenish my hair put in all my little good stuff make sure again you go to the scalp always take care of the scalp that's where the new hair is coming in and always make sure you just keep your locks nice and healthy so make sure you guys hit that like button smash that subscribe button and this is just a little side note for the people that have been asking me how many locks I have me personally I do not know exactly how many locks I have I know I did combine a couple over the time you know a couple were a little too thin so once I hit 1k subscribers I will count my locks for you guys and we will find out how many locks I have. I don't really know. Um, I've kind of gotten over that phase where I want to know how many locks certain people have. Again, lock count, it's really just how many locks is in that specific person's head. It doesn't mean that if you get that amount of locks, you will have the same looking locks. Nothing like that. So I just want to say that before I posted the video. But if you guys want to find out, I have no problem with counting them and, you know, letting you guys know so again that's the end of my video i'll see you guys in my next one